Hi, I'm Gabby Young and together with Simple Sew, I'm going to show you some essential sewing skills. We're going to cover all the basics so that you can make their lovely new collection and make an outfit like I'm wearing. Enjoy! So we're now in voiceover mode, so today I'm going to show you how to transfer markings from pattern to your fabric. I've got lots of tools to show you, so this is Taylor's Chalk, you can use it on any fabric. These are Taylor Chalk pencils, so you can use mainly on tightly woven fabrics. And this is a chalk wheel that is best for straight lines. And today I'm going to use these marker pens that are air erasable. Okay, so your fabric should already be cut out, and here is your pattern piece. I'm using the Raglan dress from Simple Sew's new collection. First I'm going to show you the notches. So we're going to make little snips where the notches are. Now I would say if it is a very fragile fabric then definitely make outward notches because you don't want to cut into it but as long as you're snipping into the seam allowance for something like a cotton or a jersey that should be absolutely fine and the notches are to line up your pattern pieces together to make sure that they are in the right place so they are very important. Okay so I thought I would start with the most common of the markings on a pattern, a dart. So I'm going to start with making little notches, little snips, in the end of the darts, just so it's easier for it to line up basically. And I'm also checking what size I am and following the lines to make sure that I've got exactly the right line of the darts there. And then I'm going to get the pin and stick it in the end, right the way through both layers of fabric. And also on the two sides of the leg of the dart, so that you can join the dots. And then we're going to turn the whole thing over and mark where the pins are so that the dots are ready to join up for the dart. And I also mark where the notches Anyway, so I'm also doing this on the other side. For all pattern markings, you need to make sure that you do this on both sides of the wrong side of the fabric. Now here we have a double pointed dart, so I wanted to show you that obviously there's no snips here and you just mark it as before by putting pins in the main points of the dart and then turning it over, drawing in the marks, turning it back over, pulling back the pattern and there you go with all the dots for your dart and then we're going to get the ruler out and join the dots. So this bit's really simple, you just want to get your ruler or anything with a straight edge and just line up the dots and draw them in from tip to the end of the leg of the dart. So you can clearly see where to sew. I also draw a line to show where the dart stops. And then here for the double pointed darts, it's exactly the same, you're just joining up the dots. And that's how to mark dart. Now you want to do the same on both sides. So you're gonna turn it over and do exactly the same with these dots too. I thought I'd also show you how to mark buttons. As before, you use the pins to show where the markings are, and these are all of the buttons or buttonhole markings of the Peter Pan blouse now. And you just pull back so that you're showing the right side of the fabric and you mark both sides where the pins are. So I hope you've enjoyed my little lesson on transferring markings. Thank you very much. See you next time.